hey, I'm Bear, and I make house music under my Isaac Bear project, and I also make like indie rock, bedroom pop, and other kind of vocal stuff under my MXMR project. I recently passed 100,000 streams on Spotify on both of my two projects, so I thought it could be fun and interesting to go through some of those numbers together and show just how much an independent artist who owns 100% of their music is making off of that. So first of all, here are the Spotify artist statistics for MXMR. You can see I've hit over 100,000 streams. If we go to Isaac Bear, I did a name change so it doesn't all show up. If we go to the actual tracks, you can see it adds up to over 100,000. This is over 200,000 total streams. So how much money did I make? $422.57. That is how much Spotify paid me for over 200,000 streams. Now, if you take just the minimum amount of time that you have to stream the song in order to trigger a payout, this is gonna add up to 30 seconds is the minimum amount of time that you need to stream a song in order to trigger a royalty payout. So assuming these, I had exactly 200,000 streams and they were all streamed for the minimum 30 seconds, that's going to be about 6 million seconds. If we divide that by 60, divide that by 60, that is 1,666 hours of content and entertainment and background listening and elevator music that I have contributed. And that earned me about uh, $400, about 500 if you add up all the extra pennies that I get from the other streaming platforms. You'll notice that this is January 2020 through September 2022. That's going to be the period of time I started releasing music in March 2020. And um, it's a couple of months behind. It is now November. Spotify is the vast majority of the money that I've made in terms of mechanical royalties and also where I've gotten most of my streams. I've also gotten quite a lot of streams on YouTube, but YouTube pays very, very low percentages, even with maybe about 50,000 to 80,000 extra streams across um, all of my YouTube channels. It adds up to just a few dollars. These are just mechanical royalties. There are a couple other types of royalties that you can receive. Editor Bear here, just to clarify, mechanical royalties are just the royalties that you get when you stream a song on a streaming platform like Spotify. Uh, this is completely different from buying a song on iTunes or buying a record in a store. Most of that money goes directly to the artist. Retailers will take a cut. Buying music directly supports artists the most by far. If your music is played on a digital radio platform like Pandora, they've paid me zero dollars from direct streams. Those usually get collected not by your distributor directly, but by a collection company such as Song Trust, which is going to collect some additional digital mechanical royalties. So if we go to my Song Trust account, we can see I've made another about $10. That's probably mostly from Pandora and maybe a little bit of Spotify radio. I'm not sure exactly what counts where. It's a little bit opaque where this money gets collected from. There are also sync royalties. I don't have any of this yet, but if, for example, my song is in an episode of the Jersey Shore, every time that that episode airs and gets ratings, I will get a small sync royalty from that. You can also have a contract beforehand where you just say I'm getting X dollars once and we can use it in perpetuity. That's a little bit more common. You get a, a sync deal. Also don't have any of this, but there are also print royalties. So if you write your music down and publish the written music, for example, in a music book, um, like I have behind me, or if a school orchestra wants to play your music. The final type of royalty is performance royalties, which you get in my case, for example, if a coffee shop or a club is playing my music, a performance rights organization like BMI or ASCAP will go and collect a little bit of additional royalties on your behalf. For me, this has amounted to just about $2.00. 40 cents. My total earnings since I started releasing music in March of 2020 through September 22, so two years and seven months, I have earned $462.68 in mechanical royalties through my distributor, $2.35 in performance royalties through ASCAP, and $9.67 in additional digital collections through Song Trust. That totals to $474.70. And that averages to about $15.31 a month, which roughly covers the cost of my Spotify monthly subscription and maybe a side of fries at a restaurant. 
But hopefully you found this interesting, um, a little bit into the economics of being an independent musician. You're barely covering the cost of your monthly music subscription by getting hundreds of thousands of streams. This is why it's so important for artists to make YouTube videos like this, to try and build additional revenue streams, selling merch, doing shows. For me, I'm still working my full-time day job. Um, because $15 a month is not quite sufficient income to be living off of my music yet. If you thought this was interesting and want to see how much I spent to get those 200,000 streams, uh, give the video a like and leave a comment down below and we can talk about that. Be sure to subscribe to the channel to give me more pennies from YouTube when my songs come out. Follow me on Spotify. I appreciate everyone. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.